Many are trying to beat that heat this summer by cooling down at a nearby beach or community pool. But an ongoing lifeguard shortage is making it harder to keep swimmers safe. Yeah, many campgrounds are now transitioning to unsupervised swimming to combat the shortage. News 10's Karina Dominguez has more tonight on the driving factors behind that decision. There's a lifeguard shortage, and that is forcing many popular areas to have limited or no supervised swimming. Recently, the Department of Environmental Conservation announced a change in policy that will allow unsupervised swimming in the Adirondack and Catskill campgrounds. Campground program supervisor Jessica McBride says many families won't notice the difference. We really feel as though people in our campgrounds were already swimming a lot of times when lifeguards weren't on duty. So for most people, it's really not going to change their experience. Um, you know, so, so we feel good about the transition. Lifeguards will continue to work at Lake George's Million Dollar Beach and at Hinkley Reservoir. So we thought that those two locations, because of the intended use of the, the patronage, we felt that we would keep the lifeguards at those locations. Swimming experts are concerned. According to Joshua Fleming, the aquatics director at the Bethlehem YMCA, drowning can be quick and silent. One of the biggest things that we talk to when I'm teaching a lifeguarding class is how fast the drowning process starts. So the drowning process starts in less than seven seconds. He says he understands why the department changed the policy, but does not agree with it. It completely horrifies me. Um, it is a very scary thought. Water safety tips include never swimming alone and sharing your location with someone you're not in the water with. And always keep an eye on your children. Fleming says the YMCA also needs lifeguards. To address the lifeguard shortage, Capital District YMCAs are offering incentives. Current employees can refer a friend and receive $125 on that employee's first day and another $125 90 days after employment. Reporting in Bethlehem, Karina Dominguez, News 10 ABC.